Better decisions come from getting access to the right data. Oftentimes, this involves getting at dark data such as invoices, sales reports, network log files, and more. Take for instance this SAP sales report. Let's say you want to take a closer look at various measures such as the top 5 highest revenue items or monthly sales. With Monarch, we can easily transform this into structured data for analysis as well as perform self-service data preparation. Here we now have our SAP report for April in Monarch's report view. Let's start by defining a data extraction template for the detail fields. Looking through our detail lines, notice that we always have a character at this position, so let's put in a non-blank trap. The lines that will be captured by this trap are now highlighted. Right now, that includes non-detail lines, such as the billing date and totals. So let's put in another non-blank trap here. There are less lines highlighted now, but still some non-detail lines. If we examine our detail line again, we see that there is always a decimal point at this position, and the character is USD over here. So let's include that in our template. Now it looks like the traps we've set will capture our detail lines completely without including the non-detail lines. Next, let's click on Auto-Define. This quickly creates field definitions on the data captured by our detail template. We can see the captured data in the preview below. Let's now rename our fields into something more descriptive. With that, we now have our detail data. Looking over at our report, we will also be needing the customer for our analysis. To capture that, this time we create an append template. The customer data is always preceded by the actual word customer, so that's what we can put as our trap. Rather than doing an auto-define, you may also define fields by highlighting the values like so. We then see our new fields in the data preview below. The same procedure may be done for capturing the rest of the fields we need, after which we can commit our changes. At this point, we can also save our templates into a model, which we may then apply to SAP sales reports for the months of May and June. In table view, we now have all the data from the three reports we've loaded, April, May, and June. Looking closely, however, at our table, notice that there are some fields that would benefit from data prep, such as those that are in all caps, and fields like item number, where we can extract relevant codes. These operations may easily be performed in the Data Prep Studio. For the Customer field, let's go to Case, Make Proper Case, and do the same for the Item Desk. For Item Number, we want to get the first two characters which stand for the item type, BK for Bike, CS for Crankset, and so on. So we do that using the extract function, set the length, and create a new column which we will rename as item type. With that, we can open this prep table back in classic mode. Now let's create a formula field, gross margin, which will help with our analysis. We can either type in the formula or double click on the appropriate fields and operators. The new field then appears in the data preview. We are now ready to create our summaries. A summary makes data easier to read and interpret via measures such as totals and subtotals, as well as formatting for easier viewing. Let's start with the top 5 highest revenue items. There are properties that will allow us to insert the total line, put in a label for the total, and set the style. Next, we define the fields you want for the keys and measures. By default, these are the formulas created for the measures we added. We may edit this to suit our needs. We can also specify the title for the measure as well as the field formatting. To get the top 5 highest revenue items, we edit the item desk key field. In the matching tab, select first n values and set the count to 5. And in the sorting tab, set the measure to sale amount and the direction to descending. And here we have our top 5 items bringing in the highest revenue. We can create more summaries in a similar fashion by setting different key fields, measures, and other properties. For instance, we can have a summary showing the monthly sales by profit center. 
This would then have profit center sales organization and bill date as the key fields and the sale amount as measure. We can then tweak the settings to include subtotals for each profit center. And we can set the formatting for the subtotals as well. Finally, let's get the bill date to display across the report rather than downwards as a column. And here we have our monthly sales by profit center. The summaries we created can be exported to a database or flat file for collaboration and distribution across the organization. Let's create exports to do just that. First, we specify our export location and say that we are exporting the top five highest revenue items to an Excel spreadsheet. When the output file exists, let's opt to add data to the file. We're choosing this option because we want the two summaries you made to go to the same file. In the advanced options, we can choose to enable drill up and down in Excel, as well as include the formulas in the export. Another export for the monthly sales summary is created to write to the same export file as we see here. Finally, let's create another export for our table. Let's include a pivot table sheet in the export with the following filters and labels. And finally, when we run our exports, we have two export files, one having our two summaries and another with our table data and a pivot table, which will be very useful for further analysis.